first time I saw a thousand dollars cash, I probably was six years old. I was in the first grade. And, you know, I grew up in Verona, so <clears throat> back then Verona was like now Verona might be forty or fifty percent black. Maybe sixty percent black. Seventy percent black. But back then Verona was like ninety nine percent white. And, you know, like I was the only black kid on my baseball team or football team and all that shit for a long time. But one thing I realized though, being around all these white kids was their parents didn't get them, you know, the shit that I could find in the hood. Like, you know, you you know, back then, like at the country store in Verona, you couldn't find blow pops and shit like that. You know, they had country shit. So I used to we used to always have candy in the house. Christmas candy shit, all that shit. Uh, they used to always sit in bowls. My parents used to always sit in bowls. So what I did was I was like, shit. I was in the first grade. When I'm more about five, six years old. I said, shit, they want this candy. All these white people got all this money. I started selling it. And all I would do was sell the candy. When we go to the store, I would get some more candy. And the first time I made a thousand dollars, I think I was six years old. And from then on in, you guys, anybody that ever known me, Google me or know me, I've always had something to sell. It's always been, I, I invented my first product at the age of eight. So that's how I invented dog weights. Cause I used to always have pit bulls and niggas used to put chains around their neck and uh, tie bricks and shit around it. Make the dog drag the shit you know, around the yard that make them bigger. You know, I was eight years old. I made a vest for it, for the dog. And uh, I submitted the invention to an inventions company. And uh, they told me, they was like, uh, we think you got a good in uh, idea. Send us, I think it was like $2,500. We'll get it patented and all this shit. And, you know, my dad just told me, uh, you know, I was trying to take the easy way out. I won't go invent no products. And, you know, do I think he was going to spend $2,500 on some shit like that? And they never invested in it. And then, you know, it was either that year or the year later, I see Bo Jackson, uh, a few years later, running on the beach with a dog. And he got the human invest on and the dog got the dog vest on with weights in it. And, you know, a lot of people was like, man, did, did that discourage you? And I was like, no, it actually made me happy that, you know, even if they already had the concept and they was working on it or, you know, they stole my shit, um, it allowed me to know that I was in the realm of greatness. And that was at the age of eight. And then the first product I ever dropped uh, publicly was uh, Bug Juice, my multi-purpose cleaner. I dropped that in Richmond in 07. The multi-purpose cleaner is the best shit on the planet. Um, and it doesn't stain like bleach. I dropped that in 07. And I made a half a million dollars off that shit in six months. You yes, ask any people, every time I, it's like in Richmond, they call me Bug Juice. They be like, man, that's the nigga Bug Juice right there because they know I invented my own product. I don't get shit. I don't think it works.